kuongoza tumeanguka salama siku ya leo umetubariki usiku mzima wazazi wetu kutoka nyumbani umetusaidia kila mtu umetubariki umetuleta hapa salama twasema asante sana kwa kutupia uhai atueni sema ati just wanna say thank you because god god is doing great things oh god twasema asante kwa kwa siku ya leo mungu tubariki tunatofanya siku ya leo tuongoze mungu wetu hata wakati tunakuona hii janga letu mungu tuongoze tubariki tuongoe
baba etu na kusifu leo baba Praise God, church. Amen. Praise God once again, church. Amen. Now it's time that we go before the Lord in worship. Just lifting your hands high. Just saying thank you for the gift of life. Provide us, God, for the good health, for the good governance, forgiveness of sins. For healing, we just have, we just have a lot to thank God for. So I just want to to just open your mouth where you are. Just lift your hands. Just talk to your God. Just say thank you. Just take one minute to talk to your God. Just say thank you. Just tell Him thank you. Just tell Him to guide you. Just tell Him to send His angels over you. Yes, indeed, God. He is a wonderful God. He is a merciful God. He is a God who hears our cries. Indeed, God. Sitting on the throne, what can go against you, God? What is impossible before your eyes? Oh, yes.
of the 24 elders just rising and bowing down to the holy throne just magnifying his name just praising him giving him all the glory so if the 24 elders can do that why not us as Christians says that through the strikes of Christ we are healed. We just want to thank you God for the healing. God may you take control of every situation in our lives God. And as for the speaker of the day God we just want to place him into your hebrew hands. That dear God you may use him as an instrument unto the glory of your name God. Our session begins, God. We just want to welcome your presence here, God. That 
to guide us, God. We just want to go against the plans of the evil one, God. That God, your presence may be felt here, God. We just want to say, like Moses said, that God, without your presence, God, we are not going anywhere. We want to request your presence to work with us. Oh yes, God. We say thank you. We say thank you, God. Behold this trust in the name of Jesus. And the church says, Amen. So once again, uh, let me take this opportunity to greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I, I'm really, really uh, humbled to stand before us today. Uh, yet another day that the Lord has made that we can rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, it has been a while since I stood before us on a Sunday. Uh, for one or two reasons, I've actually not been a, a, around. And, uh, but I want to thank uh, my good uh, leader, my senior pastor, uh, Reverend uh, our sister, our sister Bishop Akuria, who uh, has been uh, uh, taking us through some teachings and even guiding us through these turbulent times. Uh, really, we, 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 we thank God for, for, for him and his family. And uh, I want to thank the youth again for, for that time. They have just taken us through worship. And I believe, I am confident, that in the coming days we'll all be back here to church and, and you know, have an opportunity just to, to pour ourselves before the Lord and just worship him in an extended, you know, extended, uh, you know, uh, sessions of worship. Uh, I've totally missed even the choir. I've missed the choir uh, uh, just singing live. And uh, I trust God that in the coming days, uh, by his grace, hopefully we should be rejoined together and, and continue to, to worship God and serve him. Uh, allow me just to get into the word. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, the Lord has prepared a word for each one of us and we are going to be uh, uplifted. Uh, where two or three are gathered, no matter the platform, uh, God is there. And today, our desire is that God is going to speak to us. Just be open uh, to the Spirit of God. Uh, just be open. Uh, let your hearts be you know, yearning. You know, I read somewhere that if you expect nothing, you will receive nothing. I'll repeat that. If you expect nothing, you will receive nothing. So be expectant. I believe the Lord will speak God to us. Faithful. Uh, uh, just before I get to the word, uh, I, I want to... Uh, just invite you to join me in this song that reminds us about the greatness of God. That despite the changing times, despite uh, the times that we are living in, we have a great God that is uh, sort of orchestrating each and everything that happens in our lives. Great, great are you, Lord. Please, if you can just join me as we sing this song, then I'll, I'll pray and then we'll get into the word. Hallelujah. It's a privilege to worship you, maker of all universe. It's an honor just to stand before you, holy, holy God Almighty. It's a privilege to worship you, maker of all universe. It's an honor just to stand before you. With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. With a grateful heart, I lift my hands to you. Proclaiming, Lord, you reign. Where are you, Lord? Worthy to be praised, greatly to be praised. Father, you reign, great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised, 
greatly to be praised Father you reign yes Lord you are great you are the changeless God you are the mighty God you are holy 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 God Almighty is a privilege to worship you maker of all universe is a honor just to stand before you with a grateful heart I lift my hands to you Proclaimly, Lord, you reign. Great are you, Lord, wealthy to be praised, worthy to be praised. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord, greatly to be praised. Greatly to be praised, Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord, worthy to be praised, worthy to be praised, Father, you reign. Yes, Lord, we give you glory, we give you honor, we exalt you, Lord. We are saying that great are you, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be exalted. We come the Lord with an expectation, Lord. And we know that there is a reason why we are alive to see these, these times. Today, Lord, we walk in faith. That even the days, if the days change, if the world changes, Lord, your word will never change. You remain to be the unchanging God. We give you all the glory and honor. Have your way, have your way. Speak to us, O oh God, once more. Use me as a vessel, O oh God. Invade our minds. Change our perceptions. Lord, we pray that today you will give comfort to those who are disturbed. Lord, you will also disturb those who are comfortable in these times. We align ourselves with your promises and your plans and your person, which never change. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, before even I proceed, I want to invite you just to share. Please share this, uh, this um, uh, sermon uh, from wherever you are. Let us know where you are watching us from. Uh, you can just share. Share as much as possible. Let also have the body uh, be blessed through this sermon. Uh, if we can turn to the book of Joshua. The book of Joshua. Uh, my today's sermon is uh, the unchanging God. In a changing world the unchanging god in a changing world uh friends we are uh reminding ourselves today that despite the changes that come in our times that despite the changes that come to the world today we have a god that changes not so uh as much as changes will come as much as many things will change god never changes and if you just look around uh honestly uh the whole of this season we have been seeing changes um, not just because of the COVID, uh, but many other ways. Change has come. Change has come. Uh, imagine the number of people who have perished uh, through this COVID. Uh, imagine the, the number of jobs that have been closed. Uh, who, know, who knew we will be, you know, even reaching out to you in such a platform today? There is a lot of change. Uh, you know, they say, if you do not change, change will change you. Uh, you have, we have been forced to do things differently from how we used to do it. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, even the government has changed the, its operation. Uh, it, was, it is not usual. Just a few months back, you could walk around town and you could not find even a single person with a mask. But today, people are walking around with masks. Uh, it's, it's a change. It's a change. Uh, is all change good, really? They say change is as good as rest. But there are changes that are not good. Uh, but we are reminded that God changes not. God changes not. I want to invite you to reflect in the book of Joshua. Uh, uh, I'm just going to be picking some few verses in the first chapter of Joshua, uh, reflecting about the unchanging God in the changing times. Friends, 
towards the end of Deuteronomy, we are seeing the servant of God, Moses, die. And it is painful. This is the man that God had promised is going to lead the children of Israel to the promised land. And Moses did not make to get it to the promised land. And it is usual when the shepherd is taken away from you, the sheep is confused. It is usual when the shepherd passes on, the sheep is confused. And I want just you to imagine the time of, of you know, this time when the Israelites are just about to cross over and now they, you know, they, their leader is taken away from them. It was not an easy time. It was a change that no, most people will not want to appreciate. And uh, uh, verse, uh, you know, chapter 34 of Deuteronomy, we are seeing that Moses is buried and the children of Israel go for 30 days of mourning. And after that, now we get into Joshua uh, chapter 1, whereby we see changes come. And Joshua is receiving new instruction. Joshua is receiving new instructions. If I can just read from verse 1. And after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the Lord said to Joshua, son of Nun, Moses aid. Moses, my servant, is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River into the land I'm about to give to them, to the Israelites. Verse 3. I will give you every place where you set your foot on, as I promised to Moses. Your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon and from the great river, the Euphrates and the Hittites country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, glory to God, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, says the Lord. Be strong and courageous. I'm telling you, the people of 58 today, be strong and courageous be strong and courageous because you will lead these people to inherit the land i swore to the ancestors to give unto them be strong and courageous uh, as many things will change as your jobs will change as your way of doing things will change as the governments will change as the leadership even of the church will change i want you to know that there are three things that do not change in the person of God. We serve a God that does not change. And one thing that we need to know, I'll just submit to us three things that will never change and we can be encouraged today. The first thing that will not change is the person of God. The second thing that will not change are the promises of God. And I'll finish with the last point, which is the plan of God. The plan of God never changes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me just begin my, 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 my sermon by two, uh, submitting two statements. The first thing, change is in the hand of a changeless God is safe and positive. Change in the hand of a changeless God is safe and positive and will yield good fruit to those that respond correctly and embrace it. To those that respond correctly and embrace change in the hands of unchanging God will, lead, will, 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 will get fruits. The second thing that I need to submit to us, the Bible teaches us that change is useful, part of God's plan to accomplish his purpose on earth. And when change comes our way, we need to embrace it with confidence and assurance that he has good in store for those who lean on him. Uh, church, mtani kubalia ni, pia ni, ni ongea kwa kisawiri kwa sababu najua kuna wengi ambao wanasikiza ujumbe huu. Nasema kuwa, ingawaje mambo ya nabadilika, ingawaje tunayishi katika dunia ya mabadiliko, mungu habadiliki. Na Biblia inasema kuwa, wale ambao wako tayari kubadilika katika majira ya mungu, wat, hawata pata manunguniko. They will continue because eh, neno la mungu liko imara, mipango yake liko imara, Na he, you know, uh, you know, the, the nature of God does not change. The person of God never changes. Glory to God. Let us realize that God never changes. Uh, you know, this is the bedrock of our peace. This is our security. This is our confidence. When facing the past, the present, and the future. This is the anchor for dealing with all changes because he is the king. He's one 
thing that will never change. God will never change. God will never change. God will never change. No matter what changes, God will never change. His person will never change. There is a sense in the world that, that with all these changes going there, uh, you know, some of the things that changes, we feel like everything will change. But there is something that we can count on is that the reality that God never changed. His word will never change. His commands will never change. His purposes will never change. God's word is constant. And we can count on it even in our modern changing world. There is evidence in this world, in this world for this. Though through modern man is, and his embraces, many new ideas will come. Many thoughts of men will come in this changing world. But the word of God is constant. God is faithful. God is loving. God is mighty. He is able. He does not change. Even when men will change. Oh my friends, let me just announce to you today. That men will change. Even your closest friends will change. Because we are flesh. Even where you are working might change. People will change. But the word of God will never change. The nature of God will never change. The first point. The person of God will never change. Glory to God. Hebrews 13.8 says that Jesus Christ is the same today. Yesterday and forevermore. He does not change. Malachi 3.6 for the I, the Lord, do not change. Therefore, you, children of Jacob, you are not, will not, you will not be consumed. Numbers 23, 19. God is not man that he should lie. Glory to God. Or a son of man that he should change his mind. He, he, he said and he will do it. God changes not. I can quote verses, verses, verses and verses. Itataja mingi na mingi. Kukumbusha tu. Mungu habadiliki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. God will never change. His person will never change. His person will never change. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar up with wings like eagle. They will run and they will not grow weary. They will walk and they will not, draw, they will not faint. Isaiah 43, 2. When you pass through the waters... Says, thou says the Lord, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Wapendoa, ngawaje majiri atabadilika, mungu hatabadilika. And you see God uh, addresses Joshua to make, God tell Joshua to make the word of God uh, the de defining guideline for his leadership. And he tells him, Actually, if you look at verse one, verse eight, and if uh, you know, he said that if you if you, if you walk in my word, you'll be you'll prosper and you'll be successful. The law of God will be his authority, his safety net, his guide and force, his success hinge on it. This still is true about God leadership. Godly leadership leadership does not change. He changes not. His character does not change. Does not change. We have a God that changes not. Uh, you know, during the, the World War II, the, during the time, I, I love history. Mina penda sana kuangalia cinema za historia. I'm a good student, I'm a great student of history. During the World War II, uh, when, uh, you know, the Nazi had invaded France, uh, one thing that, uh, you know, the French citizen did, uh, they, they went, our, uh, what were French, walienda wakachukwa zile signpost, ambazo these Nazi people had put, and they, 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 they removed the, 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 the signpost to confuse the Nazi people. And when the Nazi people, the Nazi army entered France, uh, they were confused. They were trying to find out the, the, the signpost. This signpost is supposed to be this, this Kenyatta Avenue. Or this is, you know, Roland Gala Avenue. They could not find it. And they were confused. You know, that is the nature of the enemy today. The enemy will come and even change the signpost in your life. What you are used to. You are used to going this direction. You are used to doing this a certain way. He will change the signpost to confuse you. But you are here to announce to you, even if the signpost of your life even if the normalcy is changed, God does not change. Friends, let me, allow me to submit the second point. The promises of God never changes. Glory to God. 
the promises of God never changes. God tells, you know, verse 1, God tells Joshua that please move. My, my, my servant, verse 2, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise, go over to this Jordan, you and all these people into the land that I am giving them. I'm giving to the people of Israel. The promises of God never fails. In Gawadia, one of Israeli will come and their, their king, or rather their leader. In Gawadia, the shepherd, who you buy, I'll go to Yongozi, I'll go to Ameaga, I'll go to Ameondolewa. Mungu wana sema kuwa bado niko na mipango mema kwa maisha yao. God says that I still have my promises for you. Move. Move. The times have changed, but my promises changes not. God promises success in Joshua's leading. And he says to him, just commit to my word and you're going to succeed. You will succeed. You know, uh, it gets to a point whereby we can feel offended when men do not honor their promises. I don't know about you, but there are so many people who had promised some things to me, but later on, they, they, they changed their mind. Uh, uh, it is the nature of men to change. Uh, you, you cannot, you know, hold them uh, in their word. Uh, but God is faithful. He said that he's not man, he cannot change God. He, when he said he's going to bless you, he will definitely bless you. As a church, the plans of God, the promises of God concerning 58 remains unchanged because God changes not. God changes not. It does not matter whatever comes away. It does not matter the changes that will come. The promises of God concerning you as a person, as a believer, we as a church, we as a nation, we as a body of people who have faith in God, we shall live to see the goodness of our God. Our God changes not. Oh, he says his numbers 23, 19. Numbers 23, 19. God is not human that he will lie. Not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he, he promise and not fulfill? God will fulfill his promises. Isaiah 48. The grass with us, the flowers fade, but the word of our God will stand forever. Mungu atabaki kuwa mungu na mipango yake katika maisha yetu yatabaki kuwa amen katika jina la Yesu so jambo la kwanza tujue kuwa god person does not change number two, god's promises does not change and finally the plans of god changes not the plans of god never change the plans of god never change you see when we are going through changes, sometimes we imagine that God has abandoned his mission. I want to submit to us today that the mission of God continues. The mission of Christ continues to us as believers, to us as a church. We need to wake up and move on. Like Joshua was told, come on, I still have a plan ahead. I still have an agenda. I still have an idea. I still have a goal and I've entrusted you with my vision. People of God, let us remember that the plan of God is still on course. The mission of God is still on course. He does not change. Realize one thing. Uh, as much as leadership will change, as much as things will change, God always has a plan to advance his agenda. And you see, when Moses had passed on, God had prepared Joshua. God had prepared Joshua. And God had he knew that Joshua is going to accomplish the task task in gawaje who is Joshua alikuwa ni tofauti kidogo na Musa in gawaje alikuwa pengine ni mkijana in gawaje alikuwa na kani kama hana ile nito experience he was just a general he he was just you know he was used to 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 to, to watching the leader but god tells Joshua i have prepared you it is not about you, it is about my plan. Uh, uh, I read somewhere that, uh, you know, there's a story that is said about this man that was a very good violin. He used to play the violin very well. You know, violin. Now, Jamal Kwan has a violin. And Wakatel Kwan has a violin. Alkwan 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 has a violin. Alkwan
Watu walikuwa wanamwangalia wanasifu hiyo violin. Wanasema, "Ebu angalie vile hiyo violin iko sawa. This violin is so good. Look at that violin. Where can I get a violin like this?" People were seeing the violin. And one day this guy thought, "Let me go and buy an let me go and get an old violin." He went to a shop and he looked for another old violin, kama guitar. And you know the violin and he went there and he bought a very old violin. He went there and painted it and he you know customized it. And then he appeared before the man again. And when he was playing the violin, guys were looking at the violin and wonder, where is that violin that this guy used to play? At oh my goodness. And he said, now this violin is another good one. Where can I get a violin like this? You know, that is the nature of men. When they see beautiful music come out, when they see the good report, they always look at the violin. They always look at the instrument that is playing. They will always look at the man, you know, that is the, the organ that is doing the work. It is not about the violin. It was about the player. It was about the master. Though men might change, the master is still the same. Joshua was responding to a divine agenda. You see, godly leadership, while sent, you know, uh, godly leadership, while sensitive to the majority, will not bend if asked to co contradict the God's word. Uh, I, I want to encourage us, even as we embrace the changes that might come, uh, even in your life, it's all about uh, obedience to the word of God. It's not about how good we are in playing the violin. It is the purpose that we are doing it. The plan of God remains to be a man. It changes not. Let us be sensitive to the word of God. Let us be sensitive to the change of God. We are reminded that we be courageous. And this is said four times in, the, in just one chapter. In fact, towards the end of chapter, of, of chapter 1, verse 18, you see the word ends with, only be strong and courageous. Whoever rebels against the commandment and disobeys your word, Whenever you command him, shall be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. The whole of chapter 1, God reminds Joshua. God reminds the children of Israel. Be strong and courageous. Because my plans are still intact. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know what is making you... I don't know what will come your way and make you not feel like you want to move anymore. Yes, you can mourn. Like the children of Israel mourn for, for, for Moses. Yes, you can feel the emptiness of missing or losing something that belonged to you. Yes, you can feel like it was, not, it was not timely for Moses to die. Yes, you might feel like it was not timely for the shepherd to be moved. But the issue is, do we remember the master who has a plan for us? Isaiah 40, 28. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God. The creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. And the letter of Paul to Timothy, 1 Timothy 1.17. To the king of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God. Be honored and glory forever and forever. Amen. Psalms 102.25-27. Of old... You lay the foundation of the earth. And the heavens are the works of your hands. They will perish. But you will remain. They will all wear out like a garment. You will change them like a robe. And they will pass away. But you are the same. And your ears have no end. Praise the name of the Lord. Friends, we have a God that changes not. We have a God that is faithful. It does not matter what come our way. It does not matter the changes that come. We have a, change, a, a changeless God in a changing world. He is a God that changes not. We can be encouraged today to trust in his word. To believe in his word. To believe is in, in his unchanging word. He is a faithful God. That is the word of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord. Reminding us today. Though change come our way, though the world change, though the times change, I am still with you and I am the unchanging God. Why don't you just take a meeting and just receive that word in faith? Just tell God, thank you 
We are going to trust you in whatever you do. Although we cannot understand it right now. Even if men bring their agenda along the way. If the if men bring their agenda along the way. Anything that comes our way, you're going to either send it or you're going to use it for your glory. Everything that is on us is either God sent or God used. God is going to use it to advance his glory. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13. I'm going to read just the verse 9. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teachings. It is good for our hearts to be strengthened by grace. Not by eating ceremonial food, which is of no benefit to those who do so. Jesus is the same today, forever more. What a mighty God we serve. What a glorious God we serve. I'm glad today that I can walk in faith that what, no matter what, whatever comes our way, we can trust in the name of our Lord. Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, our God and our King. Today, Lord, we just align ourselves with your agenda, with your promises, and with your plans. We can move in faith that you are the unchanging God in the changing times. We are reminded through your word and through the account of Joshua in a time when the leader was being taken away. You reminded him and the children of Israel to move forward because your person has not changed. Because your promises are still intact and because your plan for their lives has not changed. So today, Lord, we ask that you may give us the grace to embrace your agenda, whichever way it comes. Though may, men may change, though the promises of men may change, though the person of men may change, you are the unchanging God. And we sit alone or, and, we, and we settle in that, in that assurance that you shall be with us towards end, the end of the ages. We give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, uh, church, thank you so much for the time that we've had. I, I believe that uh, you have been blessed. I believe that this word has come uh, specifically to your situation. I believe that this uh, word has ministered to your particular situation. Uh, not just as a believer, not just as a church, uh, but also uh, as a family. Uh, I want to, to, to once again, uh, like we have all, we have been doing this uh, past few months, just to thank you again for your generous, generous giving, for your being faithful even during these unfaithful times, these unchanging, these changing times. Uh, you have been faithful even in your tithes and in your offerings. Uh, we realize even as we go through this, we still are as a church. Uh, having responsibilities as believers to honor the word of God in our offerings. And I just want to welcome you again. We are going to give you the, 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 the pay bill number. And uh, please feel free just to, 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 to send your offerings. And may the Lord bless you even as you send those offerings. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the giving. We thank you, Lord, for the faithfulness of your people. Lord, your word is very clear. Teaching us, Lord, in Leviticus, and even in Numbers, Lord, that Lord, you are the Lord that blesses our tithe and our giving. Lord, we are just but stewards. And today, Lord, we again bring off our offerings unto you. Lord, in faith, Lord, that you will uh, bless them. And, you, and may they find favor in your eyes. We want to give you all the glory and honor. And I want to pray, Lord, even for the members who are struggling today. I know there are so many, Lord, who are not even, uh, you know, they are not even sure what they are going to eat tonight. Lord, I pray for divine provisions in the name of Jesus. For them who are, who, are, who, are, who are lacking. May you provide, Lord, like you did it to Israel. The children of Israel. Like you've done it all to the beginning of the days. Oh, our unchanging God. May you come and make yourself manifest in our situation. Lord, we pray for them who have, who has, who, who, who have lost their jobs. That, Lord, even as the days will move, will progress. 
Oh Lord, your promises will remain to be true and amen. Your plans will remain to be true and amen. You're going to provide. You're going to provide in, 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 according to your richness in glory. Lord, I pray, Lord, for sustainability of the jobs. I pray for opening of new opportunities. I pray for financial stability. I pray, oh, I pray, oh God, where there is lack, you will provide according to your divine ways. We give you all the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Shalom. The Lord be with you. May he cause his light to shine upon you. May he favor you in all you do. Blessed week ahead and may your month and may your year ahead be blessed in Jesus' name. Thank you.